Let's create our first project with Next. This will be a portfolio application. And we'll begin by opening our terminal. And we'll cd into the directory, the part of our computer we want to create our project in. I'll run the command make dir to make a new directory with the name Next Portfolio. Once this is created, we'll drag it into our code editor. So that's loaded. We'll use my integrated terminal. I'll open the terminal in VS Code with the command control and then the tilde or backtick button. And to create our project, we'll first initialize a package.json file. You can do that with the command npm init, and I'll use the y flag or the yes flag in order to accept all the default values. The name will be set to the folder name that we're in, next portfolio. So to create a next project, we need to install some dependencies with npm install or yarn add, whatever you're using. We'll install next, react, and React DOM. Now that we've got our packages installed, let's try running our project, even though we really haven't added anything. So we'll go to our package.json file and add our first script in the scripts area. This will be our dev script. All we need to do to run our project in development is pass it the value next. So we'll hit save and run this script with npm run dev. So it looks like we're getting an error. Couldn't find a pages directory. Please create one under the project root. Okay, let's do that, and then try running it again. Just hit the arrow up button and hit enter. So after adding the pages directory, it looks like our project is able to successfully compile. What's happening is this next script is running a custom Webpack and Babel setup, and the result of that is this next folder. And this is where all of our JavaScript code, the JavaScript code that will create all of it, will be compiled and bundled into. If we have any static assets like images or CSS files, it will be served from here too. Now if we scroll up in our terminal, we can see a log that tells us that our project's ready at localhost 3000. So let's copy this, or we could hit command click to load this in our browser. But I'll just open a new browser tab, try loading it. We're getting a 404 status code here when we try to load the home page saying this page could not be found. So this is a custom error page that is bundled by default with next and it's telling us a page can't be found because we haven't created a page. So let's create our home page. We'll do so by adding a new JavaScript file to our pages directory and we'll call this index.js. Let's add some markup to it. All we need to do is to create a stateless functional component. We're just going to return a div with the contents welcome to the home page, for example, and then export it. And we'll see what happens. If we save that. We no longer get our error page in the browser, but we get our home page and our text. So what's happening here? Our pages directory is our routing system. We didn't have to bring in React Router or anything. All we have to do is drop in pages with names that correspond to the given routes that we want to create and they'll automatically be made for us. The other thing was, did you notice that we didn't have to bring in React? In order to compile our JSX, all we needed to do was just create a stateless functional component and then export it. Additionally, if we make any changes to our content, for example, we say welcome to the page. You can see it's automatically loaded in our home page when we go back to it. This is what's known as hot code reloading, another thing that Next does for us out of the box. And if we look at the page source for our home page, we can see that within the markup here, we have our div that we created with contents welcome to the home page. We don't have a script that's referencing some JavaScript file. No, all of the markup, the generated markup, is in the page source. And that's happening because our React is server rendered. One final thing to note, if we wanted to run our development server on a different port, we could just pass it the P flag next to next and say we wanted to give it number 4000. We could just run it like that, but we'll be using port 3000 in this project. And also, if you want to set up version control to track your files in this project, I'm just going to end currently running script with control C. Clear this out. If you want to initialize git, or run git init, initialize an empty git repository, we're going to need to create a git ignore file. We want to ignore, of course, the node modules folder, and we also want to ignore anything that's being bundled in the next folder. 
So we'll save all those changes. We might need to go to the branch icon and click the reload button to see the changes made. Once we see we only have a few files, we can run git add and our first commit with the message initial commit.